Hi friends, we will continue learning our generation of PDF documents by using Python. So we are using report lab. You can see these are the charts, various charts we will learn and this is a vertical chart and we can make it horizontal also. And we will see by changing the data, it's all its options, how we can customize these charts. This is a simple template, we will start from here. But first line we are I'm just importing the some colors because I'll be using the colors here. And the second line I'm just setting a path. It's your case it will change. And you can see the last part is our file name. So this file will be updating and checking the how the graphs is changing. Now here next is I'm just importing a drawing. So I'll be placing my chart inside the drawing. And you can see at line number four I am uh, importing vertical bar chart I will change it to other type of chart and start using it at the end we are writing it why I kept it below that is you can see at line number says we are render PDF and finally we are writing to a my path where is my path here it is at line number two we are updating or writing to the uh, chart there so why we kept it at the end is in you can see it's it's a we are learning this as a part of our main report which will contain lot of various text graphs images and all so this will learn and finally integrate it so that time we'll not use line number seven and eight we'll just import it and we'll see that later now first let me just draw the drawing first d equal to drawing so this is the drawing board you can say the drawing and I have to give a dimension of it. So it is 1000. I am just slightly giving more 500. So this is width and height. So that way you can see this width. I am making height. So you can understand this too. Now next I will create my object or my main BC is the bar chart. I am just giving a name. You can change it to anything. Now I am saying vertical bar chart okay vertical bar chart i have imported it here at line number four you can see that i have created here now the what this two main this is main i have created a drawing and the vertical bar chart now i'll just paste some options we'll understand these options some data some sample data only i'm just pasting this see okay we'll understand all this what you are up to line number 25 we have just pasted started from line number eight you just see this this is the data because two bars we are pasting this is the data one and this is the data two so these two data we have to uh, add to our graph you can just this is a sample data only you can change it okay fine now bcx this x is from the left edge how much i have to leave some space there so I have given 50 and why from bottom how much space I am losing What's this uh, image and all you will understand what this difference are there. So I have given X and Y position of this uh, graph on my drawing board. Fine. Now what is my charts height and charts width? So this is the chart height and width. So I am just 500. So I am leaving little edge to it. So 930 because width is here is 1000 I have taken. So I am using 930. So rest of the things I am using as margin. Here I am at next line. I am just integrating the line number 16. The data whatever data I have fit here it is added to this. So now the now the rest of the things will understand. Here you can see that I have given a stroke color. What is the stroke color is that edges of the is anywhere the stroke is the line color only so if the edges should have a black or you want it blue we'll see that how this changes then what's a group spacing what's this picture group spacing is and the bar spacing these two are the spacings what we are using so group means between the uh, vertical bars and if we are using two so we are using bar spacing here that's 2.5 you just keep on changing this and was that now always remember there are two axes one is value axis the other one is category axis here it is category axis and these are the value axis now in the value axis means it's a vertical axis where you will give the values what should be the minimum value we've kept it as zero then we have kept it what's the maximum value 50 so the graph will vary from 0 to 50 and what's the step value that's 10 up to this point let's save this run once and see how it is so fine now let's go if i'm refreshing this this was my old data fine it has come up so it has taken some default color i have not changed any color so the default color it has taken up and it has come 
now let's come back here we are at this point now category axis in the category axis the labels are there and it is anchored towards northeast how the alignment of it it and what is dx and dy it is from the x means uh, horizontally how this labels will be positioned slightly i have shifted 5 pixel dy is minus 2 you can understand here this this particularly what's one of the label this is shifted downward it is not if i make it zero it will be flushed with the axis now let's just change it and see say i am just uh moving it towards a, i am moving it towards positive side 12 i have given so it will it will be lifted up now now i'm just running this so that file is updated i am refreshing this you can see it has you see the labels it has lifted up because i have given positive 12 so that's why now let's me give it minus 2 if you want further down you can give it now next is all the angle of rotation it is 30 degree you can see here okay let me just save this run once i'll bring it back to its original position fine sorry 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 minus two i think i have to save and update it again it's taking fine now let me refresh this okay you can see it it has come back and it is making an angle of 30 degree if you want to change it change the angle so now let's come back and you will see here see the category names january 22 all these category names are this is category axis and finally we are adding this to our uh, drawing d is our drawing it is here at line number five and then we are updating our file now let's go some uh, understand some important options in this now one of the important why how i will change the background color now here you have seen the stroke color i have given so now let's see b c dot uh, it is fill color fill color uh, what i have to give is say fill uh, i am to no let's give uh, something we can easily understand yellow because we are not used it so let me just see what difference it makes now i have to run this once fine now let's come here and update this yeah you can see the chart background color has changed not the drawings so this background color has changed let's comment this line and we'll keep it white only so we are not using this now let's try to change the color of the bars now for that we'll say bc dot bars now sorry bars now what is that the leftmost is zero so the this particular one i want to change it so dot fill color sorry fill color equal to now what happened which color will take it so colors now let me give yellow fine similarly let me just say bc dot bars the next one because we have two bars the so second bar i'm just telling fill uh color equal to colors now i here i will say light green you can give anything lot of things are coming light green so let's just save this and running it once yeah no error fine let's go here refresh it we are removed the background you watch this here it is you can see yellow and green so the colors have changed so we have got to this color now even this individual suppose we don't have certain things we want to highlight it so we, we want to change to some some particular bar color that also will try so what you will do here let it be like this now after this i will say bac dot bars instead of stating all i will do one thing is i will give a list here a, a one tuple i will use let me say um, zero is the left so third one third now three and here i will say uh, sorry no not third this will be one and third so this particular one i am saying fill sorry sorry i have did a mistake here to close this okay fill color we'll understand which one it is affecting colors that i am giving red so it will be prominent let's just save this and run once 
fine it is okay now let me refresh this and see which one it is see this one this one has become red so what way it is so one you can see zero means if i have used zero then this particular one would have been now it is one means the second one and the third zero one two three say now let's highlight this particular this is the highest value so this particular one i want to highlight so it will be zero four five so this is the fifth one so zero means i am the leftmost so let's come here i will say zero and i will make this five sorry i am not type zero zero five red saving this running one so yeah no error fine let's refresh it and see our targeted one has become red or not yeah see this the highest one i have targeted it we'll make it a stacked graph so for that we'll just change the style so bc now our category axis category axis we are telling and style we are changing style equal to stacked now by default it is parallel so all the bars whatever vertical bars you have seen there are all parallel to each other so it's stacked now let's just save it and running it okay fine now let's go and check it once the height will be slightly more yeah you can see here because it has gone up now one after the other it is added you have to just increase the height to accommodate that now let's use a or a same data but a horizontal bar chart so we'll say um, horizontal bar chart now let's come back here this bc now no more we'll just change this line i am just commenting this line and creating one more bc equal to horizontal bar chart so now the entire orientation will change let's see we have note that we have kept our style as stacked so let's go there and reload this page sorry 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 i think i had to save this run once more uh, where i am horizontal bar chart fine run it take in yeah it's correct now let me just come back here refresh it yeah you can see it now still the height issue is there height is more now let me and you have to hear the adjust, adjust the x y now we have to move left because labels are over that now let's just change this particular one this i am by default it is parallel so i'm just commenting this so now that my charts uh, bars will be parallel to each other not stacked one up over the other i'm just running it let's see yeah so no problem now no error and now let's refresh this you can see now this is a horizontal one that's all friends you can keep on experimenting with different different values and all so you will be changing the properties and we will take this graph to our main report also that we'll learn finally few more uh, stuff we will learn then we'll move to that now i'll request you please subscribe to our channel and tell your friends share with your friends and request them to subscribe also and you can download the source code and if you have any doubt questions suggestions anything you want to communicate to us use the comment section below to post it thank you for watching and please subscribe